Hi everyone, it's the Fierce Old Jewels, and today I'll be giving you a review on different white polymer clays so you know what, which ones to buy that suit your budget and uh, top quality ones that you can use that are in your area. So yeah, let's get started. Here I have five different polymer clays. This is Original Sculpey, this is Sculpey 3, this is Craftsmart, and um, this is Primo, which is also from Sculpey, and this is Cato Poly Clay, which I got from a recent trade. Uh, you can check that out. I, it was my first trade, and I was really, really satisfied and uh, happy about that trade. So yeah, thank you if you're watching this. Uh, could you guess? <laughs> thank you very much. And uh, for you all, um, you should check out her channel. It's pretty awesome. <clears throat> so this is Original Sculpey. This is uh, the packaging I bought it in. Um, this was about 1.75 pounds, which was about 2 pounds. So yeah, this is Original Sculpey. I was pretty disappointed when I got this um, because I expected a white white, like Sculpey or a Primo white. But what I got was kind of a ceramic white, like kind of like this, but a lot, uh, kind of like this, but a bit lighter. So yeah, I was really upset. So um, what I recommend you using Original Sculpey for is to blend with different colors to make them uh, kind of pastel-ish. So here's an example. This is uh, sky. This kind of sky uh, blue, light blue. Um, I mixed uh, a base color, like blue, and this to um, make this color. So yeah, this would be good for. Uh, mixing in colors or if you didn't really care much about uh, how white your uh, item would be and this is also extremely sturdy um, mind you but and also it's not as firm as this um, the reason why this is kind of firm ish is because I squished a piece of clay of a piece of original Sculpey um, between uh, a piece of printer paper so yeah, let me show you what the true texture of original Sculpey is. This is uh, a chunk I just pushed out, and look how squishy that is. This is uh, this type of clay. If you don't know, uh, is very bad for detailing. So um, I had to draw some of the oils out. So yeah, I was really upset because there was too much softness going on that I can uh, really detail it. So yeah. Uh, I bought that pack for about ten to thirteen dollars, I think, and I guess it's a pretty good deal. Um, but yeah, I would only recommend this for mixing colors because it's uh, it's worth it for mixing colors. And if you didn't really care much about your um, the color of your item, and again, this is very sturdy, so yeah, I kind of recommend that. This is Sculpey Three. And Sculpey 3 is uh, one of the most popular brands and most well-known brands of Palmer Clay. And uh, this is this and Craftsmart White are very similar. You can tell uh, they're about the same tone. You can't really tell because my lighting's kind of weird, so it's making it look kind of weird. So yeah, they're about the same tone. Um, on sale, you. At Michael's, you could buy this uh, four for five dollars, which is about a dollar twenty-five, I think, for a block of two ounces of clay. So, um, yeah, I mostly use Sculpey Three because uh, Sculpey Three is very durable, and um, I overall this is an overall all-purpose clay, so this can be used for beginners um, to advance. So yeah, I really like that one. Um, this is very sturdy, and these two are very sturdy, Original Sculpey and Sculpey 3. So you can use these for um, smaller projects. Craftsmart, on the other hand, I do not recommend because Craftsmart, uh, the generic brand, is a plumber clay. Um, it's very flimsy, if you could uh, tell from my previous video, uh, on my previous Palmer clay review video. On different brands um, yeah I really did not like it this would I would only recommend this for mixing colors again 
because it's about a dollar, uh, a dollar something, uh, a, a lot less cheaper than all of these c clays. So, yeah, if you didn't really, uh, if brittleness didn't matter, and uh, if um, you want to save a few pennies, uh, I would definitely recommend Craftsmart. I use Craftsmart sometimes to mix in colors, but that's like about it. Uh, this is Pima White. Uh, this is one of the whitest, uh, the whitest uh, polymer clay, um, polymer clay white from Sculpey. Uh, this is Primo, and this is, you might not be, no, really notice, but this is whiter than all the other whites. You can see this is kind of beigey compared to this uh, sitting right next to it. So yeah, that's really good. I I really love this white because it's really, really white, not off-white like uh, Sculpey 3 and uh, Craftsmart. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I recommend this for um, all Sculpey brands except for original Sculpey. I recommend for uh, beginners. I guess you can use this if you're a beginner, but uh, you can't really do detailed work. But I guess you don't really have to worry about that since you're a beginner. So yeah. Um, this is an all-purpose clay Sculpey, so all uh, level um, polymer clay makers can use these. So yeah, um, this would be good for making uh, any project really. So it doesn't matter if you're mixing colors, uh, making kind of uh, brittle-ish uh, projects, this would stand really well. Sculpey products stand really well against um, time and uh, pressure. This uh, is uh, Kettle Polyclay, and I got this from a trade from Coochie Guess, as I said earlier, I think. Um, and yeah, this is really hard to work with. Uh, if you've ever mixed cornstarch and water together, you know what I mean. It's kind of like that when you apply pressure to it. Um, this uh, as she said, had a very, very strong smell. These do not have smells. like. Female and um, Sculpey, as far as I know, do not have any weird smells. But this smells like really, uh, it just makes me kind of sick a bit. And it smells like vinyl or something. I don't know. It's, it smells like a weird fake leather jacket. Like, it's intensified fake leather jacket. So, yeah, I really don't like that. But this is whiter than, uh, this is like about as white as Primo White. And I guess if you only have this around, you can use this. I haven't really tried it, so I can't really recommend anything for you. So, yeah. This would be good for uh, detailed crafts, I guess. But not for a beginner, because this is really hard to work with. So, yeah, that's my video on reviews on uh, white polymer clay. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, write, put them uh, down below in the comment section. And if you were looking for a uh, tutorial on how to take off dust and fingerprints, I will be putting it somewhere in the video. If you also want to see the, my reviews on different brands of polymer clay, I will put that somewhere on the video as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you check out the links down below in the description box for uh, more details on other stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!